Hey GCA Youth, this is the start of a little mini series that we're going to be putting out on Sundays called Surprising Stories. But what we're going to do is we're going to set a challenge every week for a challenge that you guys can take part in as well. This week we're just going to do an initial one with some of the guys here at the Riverside. But next week we're going to set you a challenge to do. So if you could be sending your videos in as well of the challenge that I'll let you know about in a bit, that would be great. So this week we're going to do a little challenge to start off with. The challenge we're going to do this week is how many sticky notes can we get on our bodies in a minute? After the end of a minute, we're going to have a count and whoever's got the most sticky notes wins. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing to start with. So one minute, as many sticky notes on your body as possible. After the end of the minute, we're going to count. Right, are you ready? Yeah. On your marks, get set, go. challenge if you want to do that video do a video of that and send it in you're really welcome to but what we thought is not everyone might have sticky notes about so next week what we want to do is we want you to send in your videos of you throwing a tea bag the furthest distance into a mug so you've got to actually measure the distance try and get a tape measure out or something who can throw a tea bag the furthest into a mug okay we'll be doing it next week so you can see our attempts at it but if you if anyone is has done the sticky note challenge and beaten 31 sticky notes, which is what Debbie got, then you can officially be the winner of that challenge, okay? Great. Hey guys, so like I said, we're doing a series called Surprising Stories over the next three weeks. We're still going to be doing the challenges, but this is all about us engaging with the Bible and trying to be encouraged in something that God has got for us. So the first surprising story is a parable, which is a story with a meaning that Jesus told called the parable of the hidden treasure. So I'm just going to read it to you. This is from Matthew chapter 13, verse 44, and it says this, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure that a man discovered hidden in a field. In his excitement, he hid it again and sold everything he owned to get enough money to buy the field. So that story is, like I said, it's a story with a meaning. And in this story, the man walking through the field is, that's the picture of us, okay? So we're, we're walking through our field, we're walking through life, okay? That life is a journey that we're walking through. And as we've gone through that journey, we have discovered something or something has been revealed to us. And that something is Jesus. And the point of that is that when we discover Jesus, who he is, what he has done in dying to save us from our sins and rising again to give us new life, that when we discover that, that that is, becomes our treasure, the thing of ultimate worth in our lives, and that actually everything in our lives then is not only less valuable than that thing, than Jesus, than knowing him and loving him, it is also something that we, we need to hold in our lives as our treasure. So Jesus, in another bit of the Bible, talks about how where our treasure is, that's where our heart is. Where the thing that we value the most is, that's where our heart is. And actually, it is a challenge to us to think about, is our treasure in Jesus? Is the most valuable thing in our lives Jesus? 
Because the really kind of weird thing, the trippy thing about it, is that Jesus is the most valuable thing in the universe. That God is the most valuable thing in the universe. And whether we feel that or not, that's true. But actually what God wants us to do is to experience him as our greatest treasure. Because out of that experience of him, of knowing Jesus, all of the things come into play. Real life, fullness of life, fullness of joy, peace and meaning and love come out of that place of knowing Jesus as our supreme treasure. And all the other treasures, they're not necessarily bad. You know, our family, our friends, our Xboxes and Playstations, social media accounts, all that sort of stuff. That's not necessarily in and of itself bad. But when that stuff becomes a supreme treasure in our lives, one, we lose Jesus as the main treasure, and two, those things can't do what God has done for us. So the challenge and encouragement, I guess, is, is Jesus your treasure, the thing that you value most above anything else in your life? And if he's not, or you're not sure, why don't you ask God to reveal himself to you today? to be your treasure, to show himself as the most valuable thing, to you to know more of his love, more of his grace, more of his mercy, more of his kindness, and for you to be able to overflow then from that to the lives of others. God bless you. I'm praying for you guys. Look out for the video next week.